Hello everyone, this is Rafi Bull, software engineer at AppScot. Today, uh, we're going to talk about uh, PostgreSQL logical replication using KubeDB in Kubernetes. So let's see the developed contents. At first, we're going to talk about uh, the PostgreSQL logical replication and its advantages over physical replication. And then we're going to talk about uh, how to implement uh, logical replication using KubeDB and its features. And after that, we're going to dive into the demo. So, so in PostgreSQL, uh, physical replication methods are used to maintain a full copy of entire data of a single cluster. The source machine is called the primary and the destination is called the standby. The primary server is in continuous sync with the standby by sending the wall records. And all the servers should be running the same Postgres version and the entire database is copied. But what if someone doesn't want to replicate the whole database, uh, rather he wants to replicate a set of tables uh, which are in the different databases on different servers, or maybe where uh, the servers are running different Postgres version, uh, which is not possible using physical replication. So to overcome this, uh, logical replication is introduced in PostgreSQL uh, 10. Uh, logical replication is a method of replicating data objects and their changes uh, based on their replication identity, uh, usually a primary key. Uh, we use the term logical in, uh, con in, con in contrast to physical replication, uh, which uses exact block addresses and byte to byte replication. PostgreSQL supports both mechanisms concurrently. Uh, logical replications allows fine grained control over both data replication and security. So if I say in uh, simple words, uh, in logical replication, uh, there's a publisher database, uh, which will create a publication uh, for a set of tables. And there's a subscriber uh, database, which will create a subscription to subscribe that publication to replicate uh, the set of tables. Uh, so currently uh, we are uh, implementing uh, logical replication in uh, KubeDB. Um, uh, here we are introducing two CRD, uh, publisher and subscriber. Uh, publisher CRD will create and maintain publication in Postgres server using a logical replication operator and subscriber CRD will create and maintain subscription in uh, Postgres server using logical replication operator. Uh, here uh, we are providing certain features. Uh, you can implement it in Postgres server uh, with uh, uh, different Postgres version. Uh, you can choose uh, uh, to create table automatically if not exist in the subscriber database. Uh, you can choose the allowed subscriber to subscribe publication uh, maintained by uh, publisher CRD. And here uh, we are uh, also uh, detect uh, pre-conflict uh, issues. So uh, here is the installation command for KubeDB. Uh, I have uh, already installed it. So let's uh, dive into the demo. So at first, uh, I'm going to create a Postgres database server for Publisher. Uh, as you can see, the database server name is Publisher DB, uh, which will be running in the demo namespace. And here is the uh, Postgres version is 14.1. And here we are specifying a config secret PG configuration, uh, where we are giving uh, all the configuration for the Postgres.config file. And I've already created the secret. And here is the replica three. Uh, here's the termination policy wipeout. So let's apply it. As you can see, it's in the provision state. So in the meantime, let's see the publisher CRDML. As you can see, uh, the name of the publisher is uh, publisher sample, uh, which will be running in the demo namespace. 
uh, in the same namespace, we have created the Postgres server. And here in the spec section, uh, we are uh, specifying the publication name MyPub. And here in the server rep, we are specifying the database server uh, we have created, uh, created earlier. And the name of the server is Publisher DB, and the database name is Pub. And here in the allowed subscriber section, we are um, we are giving the information uh, of the allowed subscriber. Uh, as you can see, we are allowing um, the subscriber from the test namespace uh, with the label subscriber. And here in the table section, uh, we are specifying the set of tables. Uh, as you can see, we are specifying a table, uh, table one. Uh, you can also um, specify if you want to create a publication for all tables uh, by a field, uh, publish all tables. And here in the parameters section, uh, we are specifying the publish uh, publisher parameters. Uh, uh, as you can see in the operations, operations section, uh, we are specifying the publish parameter. Uh, as you can see, I, uh, we are giving the insert, update, delete, and the truncate. And uh, in the deletion policy is delete. So let's apply it. So as you can see, uh, our Postgres uh, server is ready. So let's exec into that pod. So let's create a database named pub. So let's switch into that database. So let's create a table named table one. As you can see, we have successfully created the table. And uh, now uh, I'm going to apply the publisher YAML. As you can see, our publisher is, is in current state, which means the publication is created successfully. So let's check this from the Postgres server. As you can see, our publication is created. So let's see if it's published the desired table. As you can see, uh, it's uh, publishing the table one. So now uh, create a Postgres server for the subscriber. So let's see the YAML. As you can see, the name of the database server is subscriber DB, uh, which will be running in the just namespace uh, and the version of the Postgres 14.1, uh, which is free replicas. And just as before, uh, we are specifying a config secret PG configuration to give, give the uh, required uh, information for Postgres configuration. And here in the termination policy, uh, wipe out. So let's supply it. As you can see, uh, it's in the provision state. So in the meantime, uh, we will see the subscriber CRD ML. Uh, as you can see in the subscriber CRD ML, the name of the subscriber is subscriber one, and which will be running in the test namespace. And as you can see, we are giving a level name subscriber to um, have the permission to create, uh, to subscribe the desired publisher. And in the spec section, we are giving the name of the subscription myself and the server ref here, the name is subscriber DB and the database name is sub. And in the parameters section, we are specifying the subscription parameters. And along with that, we are given a parameter table creation policy, uh, if not present, uh, which means if the table is not exist in the subscriber database, uh, it will be automatically created by the operator. And 
in the publisher section, uh, we are uh, giving the managed, which means uh, this publisher is being managed by KubeDB uh, as, as I have created a publisher earlier. And I'm giving that reference here, the publisher sample, uh, which is in the demo namespace and the deletion policy is delete. So let's apply it. So as you can see, the subscriber database server is ready. So let's exec into that pod. Let's create a database name, sub. As you can see, it has no table here. So as we have specified uh, the table creation policies, if not present, it will automatically create the publication tables in the subscriber. So let's supply the subscriber YAML. As you can see, our subscriber is created and it's in current state, which means the subscription is uh, successful. Let's switch into the sub database and check. Uh, as you can see that uh, our table is created automatically and if we check if our uh, subscription also created or not as you can see our subscription is also created uh, which is uh, subscribe the my publication and if I check the table one, there is no data here. So let's check this from the publisher two. So as there is no data here also, so let's insert something in the publisher database. Uh, as, uh, let's check if it's inserted successfully or not. As you can see, the data is inserted successfully. So let's see if uh, it's replicates to the subscriber database or not. As you can see, the data is successfully replicated. Uh, so the subscription or the replication is successful. So you can also check the subscriber, uh, subscriber from the publisher YAML. As you can see, uh, there is uh, the subscriber, subscriber one. Uh, which is in the case namespace. So now uh, I'm going to create a publication manually and try to handle it with the subscriber CRD. So let's create a table in the publisher database. So you can see we have successfully created table two and let's create a publication manually. Let's name it to your account uh, for table two. As you can see, our publication is successfully created. Here's the old pop. So let's uh, let's apply this YAML uh, for uh, the second publication. As you can see in the uh, in the in the YAML, the name of the uh, subscriber is subscriber two, which will be running in the test namespace. And in the spec section, uh, we are specifying the name of the uh, name of the subscription, my sub two. 
and here is the server rep uh, subscriber DB, and the database name is sub. And in the parameter, uh, we are uh, specifying the table creation policy if not present. And in the publication uh, publishers section, as you can see, we are specifying star null, uh, which means this publication is not maintained by cube DB. And in the server rep section, we are specifying the binding. Uh, the name of the binding is publisher DB in the demo name is press and the database name is pub and the publication in uh, list is your pub and uh, in the deletion policy is delete so let's apply this subscriber As you can see, our second subscriber is also in the current state, which means the subscription is successful. So if I'm going to look into the table list, as you can see, the table is also created automatically as we have specified the table creation policy. And if I check the uh, subscription, Our uh, my sub two subscription is created, which is uh, uh, which is which subscribe the your pop publication. And if I am going to check into the uh, table two, I can see there is no data. So let's insert something into the uh, publisher database into table, table two. As you can see, uh, we have successfully inserted 10 rows here and then into, into table two. So let's see if it's successfully replicate this data into the subscriber database. As you can see, we successfully replicated the data, uh, which means the replication is successful. So in this way, uh, we can implement uh, logical replication using KubeDB in Kubernetes. So this project is currently in under, currently under development. So uh, we need your feedback. So you can feel free to, feel free to ask uh, uh, any questions or any queries. Thank you. Uh, so it seems there have no question yet. With this, we are concluding the webinar. Thank you all for your lively participation. We hope to see you again next time. Our upcoming webinars are already scheduled on our website. Visit appscode.com slash webinar to register. Have a nice day.